Hello everyone, welcome back to another video about good. In this video, we'll be talking about our folder structure or files and folder structure for good. And before we get started, let's look at how we can purchase good. To do that, we need to go to Bootstrap's marketplace, which is located within themes.getbootstrap.com. We may scroll past our latest, which has our React version of good. But in this video, we'll be talking about our HTML version. So scroll down and we see it's right here. And if you open that up, it should look something like this. You can go ahead and, and once you've purchased it, you can just download the package file and unzip it. And it should look something like this. And if you're familiar with any of our products like Metronic or Keen, then this will all look very familiar to you. So in the design folder, we have our Figma file, which had contains our good design. And we also include all of our SVGs that we use within good. So we have like our Doozy, our Duotune, our Sigma, and so on. These are all SVG files that you're free to use. And then within our team, we have our three main folders that are similar with our other products. So this is where we keep all of our HTML files, like uh, index, landing. So if you open this up, basically it's just a HTML my file running yeah it's just a HTML file that you can basically use so in accounts you have all of our account HTML pages in our app you have like in context we have our context pages and all HTML files that you can use for your project now in our source we have four main files we have JS media plugins and SAS JS is where we keep our JS files for our individual components or individual pages within good and media files is where we keep all of our media Assets plugins is where we keep plugins that are not available within a package manager like npm or yarn. So all these are downloaded from like somewhere on the internet. We download it and we include it into our project using this plugins folder right here. And in SAS is where we keep all of our SAS files. So SAS we have our base which has our main mixins, our functions, our variable and so on. And components we have our like SAS files for different components like button, prompts, menus, and also our variables right here. This two variables and we have our layouts and we have our vendors now vendors we have plugin vendor here and what this does is it basically extends the default plugin or third-party plugin that's available within good so when you download a plugin it has its own default look and feel and it doesn't really fit with good new warm and eye-pleasing design direction so what we do is we customize that using one of these files to make it match our design look and feel so that's that and we have our tools folder so our tools folder is where we keep all of our built tools, which is our Webpack and Gulp. And this is also where you can customize your assets. If you want to customize your assets using Gulp, then you use the Gulp config. If you want to customize your assets using Webpack, then use the Webpack config. So they both do the same thing. It's just different methods of building your asset. All right, I think that is it for this video. Please give us a like if you find this video informative. Please also subscribe to our YouTube channel so the next time that we release a video, you get an update. Please follow us on our social medias or links will be in, in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.